All right, guys, I just want to do a little video here. You can see I've got a glass um, lid on here so we can observe what happens with the oxalic acid treatment for those of you who don't know or haven't experienced it yet. Um, so I have my quarter inch hole drilled in the back of the hive here. That's where we will do our treatment and stuff. I don't know if you can get a good angle of that. You can see here, I've just got a piece of glass on top of here, just so we can see down in as it treats to make sure we're getting full coverage. Uh, this is one single deep box. This is the oxalic acid I'll be using. You can find it on Amazon. That's the cheapest place that I've seen so far. Um, you try, want to try and get as pure as you can. And uh, yeah, so the cups that this vaporizer uses are the same as Johnny O's. Um, they're also for sale on that website. That link is in the description. But anyway, so I just have one dose. It's just one cap full um, per hive. I don't have my safety gloves, so we're gonna have to make do with that. So I have the vaporizer is up to temp. It'll bounce back and forth between temps now. Um, all this is not hot at all. So all I'm gonna do is place it around it, push down, take it still upside down. You can see it sitting like this. You insert it into the hive and then you rotate it around into position. And you can see our vapor. Now it starts off really slow, but you'll see uh, as we get going here, it'll cover it. So this is some frames that I'm gonna melt down. You can see where some mice got into it. Um, so it's really not good. So generally your cluster is this kind of position here, at least where your queen lays in your hives. So we're starting to get to our boiling temp now, the 380 mark, 318 mark. So you'll see it start to pick up. Yep, here it comes. So we're getting much more of a treatment in here. Here it is. This is your full treatment all the way through here. See how it kind of moves throughout the hive, making sure that it encases all of the frames within your treatment. So I would assume by now, as you can see that it's now died down, that we're up to our 400 degree temp. We're close. So it only boils from like uh, 320 to the 360 mark from what I've seen, which is why I have my temp set at 400. That way it doesn't run too much longer than it needs to. So from there, you just remove it out of the hive with your safety glove. Now I don't have mine, so I'm, I'm being a little risky. You just take this, pop this off, sit this down to cool, cause it's hot. All of this is hot. Uh, and yeah, you're, you're onto your next hive and each one comes with like five caps. So you just keep reloading and treating, treating, treating and off you're running. So I, I do think after looking at this now that, that I made this hole too big with a quarter inch. So I'm going to do some measurements and I will have that posted right down below right here uh, in the comment section as to what that dimension should be. I think I can hone that in a little more to make it a little tighter. So uh, we'll actually test that on another hive here. Let's see if we're doing that right. Yeah, I mean, there's a little wiggle room so a quarter inch will work, that's what it is. You can see I'm hitting that, it's not bending. But I feel like we can get a small, a little smaller of a hole in there. So we'll, I'll do some experiment with that, I'll let you all know. But as of right now, uh, yeah, that's, that's how you do the oxalic acid treatment with the vaporizer. Uh, back order should be finished uh, Saturday and the units will start going out. So yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased. So anyway, thanks for watching.